Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And this past week, during the kids' chapel at our church at preschool, uh, we, we were talking about David and Goliath. And I had all kinds of thoughts about that as I revisited the, the children's story. That, that's kind of what we call those stories in the Old Testament sometimes, the, the stories that we typically teach to children. And as I revisited it as an adult, there were so many profound lessons found with this simple story. Uh, there was so much that needed to be talked about. And, and I only had three days with chapel with the kids. So guess what? I got time with you in devotions this week talking about David and Goliath and God and me. And so this week, I want to be, today I want to begin by saying this. You know, one of the things about David that's really, really emphasized in the scripture is that he normally would not have been kind of the one that everybody expected to do great things. He, he, he's a shepherd boy. He, he's from a backwater town of Bethlehem. He, he, his family's not all the hot high up on the totem pole. I mean, they're, they're basically the, the lower class or maybe middle class of, of the era, and, and they're not expected to become royalty. They're not expected to have many great things. But what Scripture tells us over and over again, what God tells us over and over again, Jesus even has this wonderful parable about the talents that shows us this, in which he says this, that when we are faithful in a few things, when we are faithful with the little things, God calls us to do big things, to do greater things. We're called to be faithful in the little things. Little things are, are things like prayer. Little things are things like reading scripture or doing devotions, maybe paying attention online even, maybe clicking like or share. That would be faithful in little things. Faithful in the little things is attending worship, however you do that. Being faithful in the little things is offering care and time and an ear when you bump into somebody and they're going through troubles. If we, as the people of faith, are faithful with these few little things, things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, self-control, persistence, and long-suffering. If, if we are faithful with the fruits of the Spirit, if we're faithful with the very basics of faith, then God will call us to do huge, big, massive things like advocating for justice or doing missions of mercy that impact huge numbers of people. But first, we have to be faithful in the little things. You see, David was faithful as someone who looked after sheep. He knew how to swing that, that, that sling at critters like wolves and lions and bears long before he ever got in front of Goliath. He had to be faithful in the little and practice. I'm sure it wasn't his first time throwing a rock. When we are faithful in the few little things, God will call us to bigger and greater things that will make huge impacts in our world and our community. And it's what we're about, being faithful in the little things to be better together. Amen.